Hey guys, welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, Rachel Riley. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for all your lovely likes, comments, and sharing my videos. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm, push them straight up to the top. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Today, I want to talk about Scorpio Risings, the shape shifters. It's been a minute since I did a Scorpio Rising video and I've been dying to do one, but I couldn't figure out. I was like, what do I want to talk about with Scorpio Rising? Because I could go really deep. I could get lighthearted. I could get strange. I could get weird with my aqua sun. But I want to talk about Scorpio Rising's shape shifter. So I feel like all of us as Scorpio Risings, in fact, I know this, we all have the ability to shape shift. And when you start to feel like you are shape shifting, it is a sign that a transformation is on the way or you are going through one as we speak. Now, shape shifting, when I say that, I'm not talking like, oh, you guys can turn into a bird, you guys can turn into a plane, you guys can morph into another person. No, but I mean this in the, sh the strictest sense of shape shifting like you have the ability to cut all your hair off you have the ability to shave your head if you're a guy shave your head if you're a girl you have the ability to completely change your makeup if you're a woman to do your makeup in the most glamorous way or in a makeup that's more masculine and you have the ability to change your entire wardrobe to fit whatever you want if you want to present more masculine you can do that if you want to present more feminine you can do that regardless of your gender i know i just went through another transformation so so I had the urge to change my hair. So I changed my hair and I may very well cut it all off soon later, who knows? But that itch, that, that change to shape shift comes when you're going through a transformation because when we're changing internally as Scorpio Risings, we have that strong Pluto all over us. So we have that Pluto intensity that wants to change the entire collective, but we must change ourselves before the collective. So Pluto is pushing us change, 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 and it's changing us at a micro level at a point that we don't even understand until we're already changed and we're like morphing like a butterfly even though that's cliche to use a butterfly analogy we're gonna go with it but yeah as a Scorpio rising you guys are gonna change on a micro level and you're gonna go through many transformations as you already know, but once you're changing on internally, you're like, okay, I want my outside to match my inside. I don't feel like this person anymore. I don't feel like this person who had this old wardrobe, this old hair, this way that they carry themselves. I'm new, I'm changed, I'm, I'm bold. And every time you go through a transformation, a really great thing about this is this increases your confidence because when you have everything teared away from you, when you have your entire family, when you have an old lover teared away from you, when you have an old friend teared away from you, when you have an old home teared away from you, an old vehicle, you know, items, places, things, people, your mental, your mental health, when it entirely changes and flips, when you have an epiphany, this causes you to want to change your physical appearance. And this also causes you to have really strong, steadfast, resilient, confident Scorpio rising. Scorpio rising is right up there with Leo as one of the strongest zodiac signs I have ever encountered in my entire life. Every Scorpio rising I know has been through some intense ass trauma and they don't even blink when they're talking about it. They're like, oh yeah, like this happened to me. This person almost killed me. There's a time I almost died. Like here's a divorce I went through. Here's a house that I lost. This is when I went bankrupt, but you know, whatever. And they just so easily brush it off because we're Scorpio risings, because we've been like that from a very, very young age and we transform over and over. But yeah, back to, back to shape shifting. But you guys are powerful. Do know that you are one of the most powerful t signs as long with Leo. I, I dare to say even maybe the top, <laughs> probably the top. I'm, I'm not even going to be humble. Scorpio rising is one of the most powerful signs because you are ruled by Pluto, just like Scorpio suns. But the rising, it is your identity. It is not your identity. That's the sun. It is your theme in life. It is how you navigate through life and it maps out your life entirely. So when you're going through these things as a Scorpio rising, you are powerful and you can take on any challenge and you don't need anybody else. You don't need anybody else. All you need is you. You're a powerhouse. You can change an entire collective because you have Pluto in your freaking Scorpio rising chart, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. But yeah, as Scorpio rising, oh my gosh, so much good stuff. Oh, I get so excited when I talk about this. It just, it has 
a special place in my heart because I started this channel for Scorpio Risings because I was going through a lot of bullying at the time and I wanted a safe spot for every Scorpio Rising to express themselves, step into their own power and stand up for themselves. But yeah, you guys are shapeshifters and I, I don't know if this is, I, this is probably a trend for some of you guys too. You may like to watch people transform, like transformation is really interesting to you when people transform their appearance. Like say there is a man on TikTok and then he transforms into a drag queen. You love that shit, you love that shit. You're like, whoa, that's crazy. Or there's a girl and she's like, she looks kind of plain, like whatever, she's chill, she got it. And then she transforms into this glamorous 10 out of 10 sugar baby. And you're like, whoa, and it's like really cool for you. So Scorpio Risings, we're fascinated with transformation and, and we even want to do it like, we wanna do things, I find myself wanting to do things just to see if I could do it, right? You know, it's not necessarily like, oh, I wanna turn into a boy because I really wanna be a boy. It's like, you know, I wanna see if I can turn myself into a male. I wanna see if people can, you know, if they're gonna resonate with that, if they're gonna interact with me like that. If I go out one day and I have no makeup on and I buy, you know, men's apparel and I carry myself like a man, I put on a ba baseball hat, I wanna see if I can. I wanna see if I can pull that off. If I see a new look, a new makeup look, a new hair look, I'm like, I wanna see if I can transform into that. We we love the idea of shape shifting. That's so interesting to us and it's so intriguing because we are going through transformations and we have built our, broken ourselves down and built ourselves up over and over through our entire life as Scorpio rising. So I highly encourage you, if you're Scorpio rising, you know, do that, do, do the shape shifting. You know, acting is a great career for you. Uh, wardrobes, like working on wardrobes, intellectual, intellectual, being intellectual as well, but interior design, you know, transforming any area and transforming yourself. But if you do that in like a healthy outlet, like in a way where it's acting or it's like art, you know, in art, in music videos, right? In music videos, they have to completely change themselves. Like think about Meg Thee Stallion. She puts on a beautiful show. Hey, Scorpio Rising Aquarius Sun, I see you girl. But she, every video she has, she changes her wig. She usually, sometimes she puts in color eye contacts. That might be Doja Cat, but anyway, she changes her makeup with every set, with every music video she does. She puts on a new wig. She has a whole new theme. And body, it was like all black leather, sexual, kinky, ooh, get it girl. And then in the, in the toy song, I forget what it's called, but she does like, she dresses up like as a toy and she has a big old bow and her colors look completely different. She has a new wig on, right? So as a Scorpio rising, if you're putting that, that uh, shape shifting into a music video, into being an artist, into being an actress or an actor, into being a YouTuber, into, you know, being an influencer, maybe you like to pick out outfits that are aesthetically pleasing and be a promoter like that, that is really a wonderful outlet for you. But just do it in your everyday life. I do it in my everyday life too and I've noticed that about Scorpio Risings, our fascination with shape shifting as well as us liking to do that. So there is one more thing I want to talk about with Scorpio Rising. You know, do know that as your physical appearance changes, that means you're going through transformations. Don't ever feel like you can't get through it alone because you are in fact not alone. Even if you've had a lot of friendships end, even if you've had a lot of relationships end, even if you've had a lot of family, you know, leave you and maybe you've had to move out into the middle of nowhere and everyone was just like, no, we don't like you, cutting you off, you're the problem child, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Know that you're never alone, that you have really, really strong spirit guides and ancestors that are on your team and that are taking care of you. Think about all the near death experiences you had. Maybe you've had an actual death experience. Maybe you died for five minutes or five seconds. There's somebody looking out for you, Scorpio Risings, and it is your spirit guides, your spirit animals in universe. But don't take this if, if this doesn't resonate with you, if you want to go more for like a God or, you know, I am God kind of thing. Yeah, but this is just what I'm offering for you. This has helped me in my journey, knowing that I have spirit guides, spirit animals that have um, magicians, like I'm thinking about the magician Merlin. Uh, goddess and goddesses like all of these types of things and I've always felt very divinely guided and protected and I know you guys are as well take this if you want it if you don't leave it here thank you guys so much leave a black heart if you're Scorpio rising and let me know your favorite shape-shifting type of thing that you like to do okay thanks guys I'll see you later goodbye